Hey everyone, welcome back aboard Nautilus. We are so excited to be setting sail for the final expedition of the season, and we are in the breathtaking waters of Palau. For NA-169, we are working with the Scripps Institution of Oceanography, and during this expedition, we're gonna be doing so many cool things, ROV dives, seafloor mapping, and exploring the midwater. This expedition is really unique because we're exploring how the biological diversity is impacted by the physics of currents flowing around the islands of Palau. Specifically, we're looking at something called the island mass effect, which is this really cool phenomenon where islands actually increase the marine productivity around them, almost like little oases of biodiversity. So what exactly is the island mass effect? Well, scientists describe it as a phenomenon in which regional productivity is higher around islands from the nutrient upwelling driven by land-ocean interaction physics. This super interesting process happens when islands like Palau interrupt the flow of global currents, creating eddies downstream of the islands that pull up nutrients from the deep ocean. Those nutrients then support massive amounts of local biodiversity, everything from tiny plankton to large fish populations. So the island mass effect has been studied well in some places, but around Palau, it's still a bit of a mystery. This is why our friends from Scripps have brought some really cool pieces of technology aboard for this cruise. Check this out. This is a Boeing Liquid Robotics Wave Glider. These are uncrewed vehicles that harness the power of the ocean waves to propel themselves across the surface of the ocean. Coupled with solar panels to power sensors, they can stay deployed for months at a time. The sensors measure things like currents, temperature, and chlorophyll. Data collected from these wave gliders helps us understand biological response to the island flow physics. Working alongside the wave gliders are the Teledyne Slocum Buoyancy Gliders. These autonomous underwater vehicles are capable of long duration, high resolution water column characterization at depths of up to a thousand meters and can surface to transmit real time data to ship or shore at regular intervals. But what makes these so useful is their ability to gather data from their optical sensors, measuring dissolved organic material, chlorophyll, and optical backscatter to characterize the midwater ocean environment. Last, but certainly not least, we have the WAM B16 USD, another uncrewed vehicle that is super maneuverable so we can send it close to the islands and around reefs to get detailed readings on phytoplankton and biomass abundance to water movement. This data is crucial for mapping how nutrients are distributed and where they go after they're upwelled near the islands. Here's something really cool. We're using this super high-tech tool called a Vertical Microstructure Profiler, or VMP for short. This instrument lets us measure something called microstructure turbulence in the water column. Basically, it can detect tiny shifts in water movement and temperature, which reveal how water mixes vertically, feeding nutrient-rich water to the marine life near the surface. By capturing this turbulence data, we can understand how much nutrients are cycled through island wakes. It's like peeking at the engine of this marine ecosystem. And don't worry, we didn't forget about our remotely operated vehicles. Earlier this expedition, we used ROVs Hercules and Atalanta to explore 1,200 meters below the surface, capturing high-res video of the seafloor and documenting biodiversity there. We're focusing on a few special sites here, like the German Channel, Shark City, and Angar. Seeing these areas up close helps us explore how the biodiversity of Palau at all depths is impacted by the physics of island wakes. We also are able to see firsthand how the seabed habitats change on the steep slopes of Palau's islands. We're working with a big team to tackle some big questions together, like how island-driven turbulence in ocean circulation flows nutrients downstream into Palau's National Marine Sanctuary, which is one of the world's largest protected marine areas. This is such a unique and exciting expedition because it's not just about gathering data. It's about uncovering the physics of hidden ocean ecosystems and understanding how they're connected to everything from local fisheries to global climate patterns. 
And remember, every new discovery we make brings us one step closer to better understanding our blue planet. Catch you next time.